y'all, listen, y'all, I'm telling y'all, man, listen. This channel gets better and better and better. This is the dopest channel on YouTube. You understand? We up here in the Bronx. What up, what up, we're good. Yo, none other. Hip hop pioneer, DJ Chuck, chill out. We in the belly. Yo, Chuck, what up, baby? Skirt. Thank you for giving me the chance to get this interview, man. So good, man. Been a fan since back in the 80s, yes, man. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, you was Friday, you was Friday night. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine in the middle. Okay, okay. What's, what's up with you, man? Number, number one rap show in New York City, baby. It's number what? Number one rap show in New York City. Okay, okay. Right. I had a Molly Mall and Magic Venom. He's killing Magic Venom. He's killing. He's killing? He's killing. He's killing. Okay. <laughs> hey, Chuck. Hey, Chuck, where you from, man? Look at them Bronx. In the Bronx? Where we at? We're in Southview right now, right? Yeah, this is like South Bronx. I'm from the Northeast Bronx. Okay. From Bronx Street Avenue, 222nd, Gun Hill, that area. Okay. Yo, Chuck, born and raised in the Bronx? Murder. Where you went to high school at? Uh, a couple of places. Uh, Bedford Park Academy, Truman for a second. Uh, G. with Clinton for a second. You know what I mean? You know, we was all over the place. And yeah, we clips, Naroda, all of my millennials that's doing this hip hop thing, man. Check your history, man. Y'all going back and y'all looking at these MCs from the 80s because y'all tired of this track music and all yeah, this black yeah. music. I, I call it space music. Listen, you gotta, you it gotta, don't. You gotta smoke stuff, understand what they say. Listen, <laughs> when, you, when you're talking about the history of hip hop, man, especially in New York City, you're looking at none other than one of the pioneers, man, that helped push this thing around the planet, man. Yo, Chuck, when did you make the decision, man? When did you decide, like, yo, I'm, gonna do, I'm doing this hip hop thing. This is what I'm going to do. Um, well, you know what? You know, it, it started when I was a kid, about 16. You know, um, who inspired you? Well, my uncle was doing it first, and then I started following DJ Breakout. You know what I mean? A couple other people. Um, but you know, one thing, one thing led to another. You know what I mean? You know, to make a name for yourself, um, coming from the Bronx. You know, it was something that kept me off the corner. You know what I mean? So, um, plus I love music. You know what I mean? So one thing led to another. You know, doing block parties doing community rooms and making a name for yourself and then you know doing still doing stuff like this and then made a name for myself and then I got to the radio. You know what I mean? so. You, you, you broke so many people, you broke so many hip hop artists, man, from that yeah. golden era, man. Yeah, man, for all of them. And listen, maybe two years from now, when they talk about hip hop, they got to talk about you, man. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. You understand what I'm saying now? Check it out. You got involved in hip hop. How did you get on 9847 Kiss? Well, I was hanging out in um, the Roxy, me and Rebels in the Roxy. And then, uh, you were Red Alert. Yeah, it ran to a cat named Barry Mayo, and they introduced me to this guy you named Tony Q, who put me on. You know what I'm hey, Yo, yo, we gotta go up there after the fight. Yeah. yeah. You told a guy named Tony Q? Yeah. And Tony Q put you on? Yeah. Okay, okay. It was, now, Bar it was Barry Mayo and Tony Q. Okay, okay. Now, Chuck. <laughs> The early hip hop, man, I'm 50 years old, and you, you're older than me, you're probably older than me, right? How old are you? I'm 56. 56, okay. The hip hop, man, it wasn't accepted in the beginning, man. No, man, they thought we was crazy. Huh? They thought we was crazy. The whole planet thought we was crazy. They thought we was crazy, yeah. They thought we was crazy. Now, how, how do you feel now when you see it, that it's a billion dollar thing, man? Do you, you take any pride in that? Well, of course, of course, I, I, I knew what it was going to be. You know what I mean? I knew it from back then, yeah. I saw um, how I, I would go down south with my cousins. I was like, yo, what are you doing? I got this big radio playing Trans Europe Express and all the break beats. And they were like, yo, what is that? And they was doing it down there. So, but I knew it was going to catch on. You know what I mean? And first rappers of Light came, uh, Crash Crew. You know what I mean? And once then it, then it, then it, then it started to be worldwide. And then more talent came. You know what I mean? So, one thing led to another, but I knew we was gonna catch on like that. Now Chuck, what, talk about, like for my millennials who are in this game, talk about the business side, man, the publishing, the writing, taking care of the paperwork, how important that is, man. Well, you definitely gotta take care of your publishing. 
a lot of a lot of artists don't know about that pump shit. A lot of artists got jerked. Got jerked, but they didn't they didn't know about that back then. You know what I mean? If you didn't know your business, you was getting jerked. You know, you were so worried about getting a record deal and getting an advance, but you didn't know nothing about the publishing. Every time a record played or or video played, he was getting some money. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, that too. But um that like all of them early labels were jerking me. But if you had a major deal and had a polygram, that wasn't that. Now, the Bronx, the Bronx is the home of hip hop. Yes, sir. Okay. They ain't start down south, they ain't start on the west coast, they ain't start overseas, they start in the goddamn Bronx. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Chuck, man, how important is it to have a mental, a good, positive mental attitude in life, man, and doing what you're doing in life? Well, if it's something that you want to do, and eat, drink, and sleep, and make a name for yourself, you know what I mean? Um, you know, it has ups and downs, you know, you got people telling you, you can't do this, you can't do that, but it's something that you want to do, stick with it and do it, and never give up. That's always been my whole mentality. Talk about the failures and the setbacks you was reversing, Chuck, and bouncing back from that, and staying consistent and dedicated to your vision in your mind that you know where you want to go. Wow, well, there was, you know, there was, we all, we all went through setbacks. There was times like I kicked off the station. Matter of fact, two, by four or five times I got fired. You know what I mean? But a lot of cats would give up, but I didn't. You know, I kept knocking on the door and it wouldn't stop. That's why I always say, don't give up anything that you do. Yo, Chuck, what would the 56 year old Chuck say to the 26 year old Chuck? Yo, know, the older Chuck would tell the younger Chuck, brother, you gotta grind even more hard. Stay relevant and stay out here. Because, you know, back then, you know, you made a name for yourself, but now, what happened then, now it don't matter. So now you gotta work even harder. You gotta stay relevant. Yeah, yeah, you gotta stay relevant. That's what I'm saying. So, I would, I would, the older person would tell the younger Chuck, yo, brother, you gotta work even more harder. And I'm, I'm doing that now. Yo, Chuck, chill out. Listen, y'all. This is Stake for Tessa Man, my soul. This is DJ Chuck, chill out. Yo, Chuck, give me a favor, man. Tell me, yo, fuck the show's YouTube channel, man. Word right up, check out my man's YouTube channel. It's hot, I'm feeling him. My man is on point, and he's a real hip hop head. Alright? My man. Yo, Chuck, peace out, man.